everybody, welcome to another episode of Tip Tuesday. Today's Tip Tuesday is gonna be all about slide maintenance and care, okay? Very, very important. It's a easy entry point for water, but it's also a super easy thing to clean and care for. You're only gonna really need to do this twice a year, unless you're traveling someplace where you're getting a lot of salty air or dirt and grime, you may consider doing it more often, but if not, twice a year. Basically, you're gonna follow three steps. You're going to clean it, you're gonna inspect it, and then you're gonna lube and protect it. So, here on our lot, we have two, there's really three main kinds. Here on our lot, we have two of the three. I don't think we have hydraulic. We have a Schwinn Tech, which is behind me right here. Then we also have a rack and pinion system, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. And then, like I said, there's the hydraulic. The same principle applies. You're gonna do the same steps in all of them. There's just some different points that you have to take care of in a little bit more detail. So on the Swintech, there's actually a motor and some gears that are actually behind your seal here. And it pulls through this track to pull it in simultaneously on both sides so it keeps it nice and straight and level. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have these tracks clean. You can buy a little brush, a little wire brush to keep that clean. You want these free of debris and dirt. You can lightly oil this. And then behind your seal on the top and the bottom and all four, you have a little motor and some gears back there. If you take your sprayer, and I'll show you this. This is the one we sell in our store. It's a slide lubricant. It works on all slide parts, including your seals. Uh, but it comes with a little sprayer. Just kind of spritz back there and get that taken care of. You'll be right as rain. The other thing you want to do is make sure that you lube this seal. So this seal acts as a couple of different things. One, it's a moisture barrier. It's gonna keep the rain and stuff from getting inside, but it's also like a squeegee on the side of your camper when your camper's coming in. These can get dry rotted. They can also get too much sun and start getting cracked. So if you take a little bit of this sealant, spray it down, wipe it down with a cloth. You can also spray some on a cloth, reach back behind the seal and run your hand up and down that seal just to keep it nice and cleaned and lubricated, you'll be perfectly fine. The other thing you should do, again, regardless of what type of slide out you have, is making sure that your top is clean and free of debris. It's super easy when you have a ladder on the back, you climb up, look, but you know, if you're staying someplace wooded where there's branches or like at our campground, walnuts falling and stuff, before you run that slide in, it's a good idea to get up there and clean that off and make sure it's free of debris before you run it in and catch it in the seal. So let's go check out one of the rack and pinion systems real quick and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so now we, I showed you the swin tech. Now I wanna show you the rack and pinion system. So you'll notice, you don't have your little metal guides here. But Greer, if you've been down here and look, you'll see that we actually have a set of teeth on the bottom of that bar right there. And those teeth are gonna walk in on a gear. Now there is a gear back there at the beginning of the box. The manufacturers don't recommend that you lube that all the time. The only time you should really have to lube that is if you've got noise problems and in your manual, I think it's got like six or eight points that it tells you to lube on that. What you're normally going to want to do is you're just going to want to clean those bars. Make sure they're nice and clean of debris. Most slide lubricants will actually have like um, uh, a, one, a rust protector, but also two, they'll repel dirt, which will help keep them cleaner. But you want to wipe those down on both sides. While you're doing that, that's going to give you your time to inspect. Make sure you don't have any bolts that have worked their way loose. Everything looks good. You can look at the underside of your slide. Once you have that nice and clean, that's when you want to lightly spray your lubricant on all four sides. And it's fine that it gets on the teeth of those gears. It's perfectly fine. Again, it's rust protection, and it's just going to help those glide in and out. Once you have that done, you're going to come up here and you're going to do the exact same thing that I showed you to do on the other camper where you're cleaning your seal. As you see, you can get behind there. That's a good place to get your uh, rag with lubricant all over it and just run that up and down on this seal all the way around, including on the top. Again, very similar procedure with your hydraulic uh, systems. 
One difference is, is that you're going to have a pump somewhere and you're going to want to make sure that you keep that full of hydraulic fluid, but that's just a minor thing. Other than that, they all kind of operate the exact same. Again, super easy, but very, very important. So guys, I totally forgot that our Montana series, a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them actually have hydraulic slide outs. So you're going to see that it looks basically the same. You just have your hydraulic lines running out of here. So like I said earlier, when I didn't think we had any, exact same process is put into place. You're gonna wanna come out here, you're gonna wanna clean everything really good and inspect it. When you're spraying down these metal bars, you're going to get some lube on these bars. You've got one on this side and then one on the other side. That's fine, it's not gonna hurt anything. It's just gonna help keep debris and stuff off of it, rust, everything else. So. As I said, same principle applies. And then when I said you're gonna to wanna to make sure you check your hydraulic fluid, watch your head, Gert. You can see our hydraulic reservoir right here. So that's where you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have your hydraulic fluid full. Full, I can't talk today. So guys, there you have it. There's all three. And one last thing, in some instances, back up some more, Gert. In some instances, you actually have multiple types of slide outs on the same camper. So this has the Swintec electric on the bed slide out, but it's got the rack and pinion hydraulic on the main slide out over there. So you can have your electric rack and pinion, your hydraulic rack and pinion, or your Swintec. So guys, I hope that was very helpful. If you have any questions, you want more details, just leave a comment down below.